Hi, and welcome to this week's video that I'm talking about your passion. Passion. Everybody has one passion or the other. Everybody has his or her own passion. But what is this passion at all? Before I tell you what passion is, I want you to know that God is wisdom in whatever form of God you believe in. That God and His wisdom has created now over 7 billion people on earth. But you agree with me that you watching me, there is nobody else in this world that is exactly like you. No matter how you two or you three resemble each other in these seven billion people, your DNAs are never the same. So what I'm trying to say is that that God has created you uniquely different from any other person else in this world. So if in seven billion people you are unique on yourself and nobody else resembles you, what is that God looking for in you that has made you completely different from anyone else? It means certainly there's something else that God has put in you and that which he has made you different from any other person. Some of those things which he has made you different and which he wants you to tap into are passions, your talents, purpose. So, what is this passion altogether? For me, if you have anything, any subject that you are interested in learning, that if there were 100 books, 1,000 books, 1 million books on that subject, which you read, research, learn, practice about, for a lifetime, or for 10 years, for 20 years, for five years, in a day, you like to do, read that subject continuously, without getting tired, without getting bored on that particular subject. It means that your passion could just be found around there. Your purpose in life could just be found around there. So if you have that subject that you read continuously without getting bored, it means that that is a passion for you. So for to describe what passion is, I'll say that a subject which you find so interested, you find so passionate about, you find so loving, that you would like to continue to read about, to learn about, to practice about continuously, endlessly, without getting tired or bored. It means it's a passion. So if you have a subject like that, it means that is your passion. Again, if there is any work, maybe you are not trying to translate that subject you have been reading into work. So that work which you do continuously for a lifetime, for a long period of time, 20 years, 10 years, in a day, you spend more than 16 hours doing that work. And your main purpose is not to be paid for that work. It means that your passion is around there. So if you ask me what your passion is, Secondly, I'll tell you that your passion is any work that you do continuously without getting tired, without doing that work because you want to be paid money. So that is a passion. That is your passion. Again, so this is a subject you like to read about. This is a subject which is, has become work that you do. And now you have money. You have everything at your disposal. You don't even lift a cup because you want to be paid. But this is the case that you still find yourself doing that thing. You are doing it because you just love to do it. You are doing it because it energizes you. You are doing it because it motivates you. You are doing it because there is some purpose in it there that links you to an intrinsic, to a factor out there that you yourself cannot even fathom about. It means that your passion could just be around there. It means that your passion is in there, in fact. So, everybody is unique. You are unique in your own way. 
it, it means that when you find people crumbling over something, you don't also have to go there crumbling over that thing because you, you should look out for what is unique about you. You should look out for what is your passion. You should look out for what is your purpose. So when you look out for what is your purpose, everything else out there becomes so easy for you to do. It makes you stand out of the crowd. It makes you do everything purposefully. And when you do this and becomes in sync with what God has created you to do, then everything else in your life becomes great, becomes unique, becomes the best, becomes something which separates you from all other people. So, I have been explaining to you what passion is that goes to relate to purpose for which God has created you uniquely different from anyone else in the world and which you yourself can testify that you are not like any other person. So, this means that God has put something in you which is in fact uniquely different also from any other person in this world. If you agree with me that you are different from any other person out there, you don't mimic other people, you don't mimic their way of life, and they don't mimic their way of thinking. I mean, you don't copy the, what people's passions are, neither do you copy what people's aspirations are, neither do you copy what people's purpose is. You need to stay original. In staying original, in fact, you are obeying your calling from God. If God wanted us to be following one path on earth, He would have made us resemble each other. But God in His wisdom has made us different from one another. For which reason, if your skill, if your likeness, if your love for something is different, say weaving, say networking, loving people, in terms of connection, networking with people all around. There is something in it which separates you from other people. Other people may want to network with people, but there is something in it which is uniquely different that is in yours than others. So you need to find it. You need to find it. So now, I ask that, so how do you find what your purpose and passion is on earth? I've explained that it's when you have a subject that you can read so much about, when you find some work that you do that you don't get tired, and what you find yourself doing when you have a lot of money at your disposal. You have lots of money at your disposal, but then when you get up in the morning, you still find yourself doing some particular thing. It is these pointers. That shows around where your passion is. So, people like us who have lots of motivation every day, they, we don't have dull moments. I don't have any dull moments. Even before I came in line, my passion, that things started moving as swiftly as I ever dreamt of it. I always find motivation for myself. I always have motivation. But then, let me tell you that I have lived life with a passion before, where I have some businesses running, making some money, though some few were making losses. Things were quite okay. But, it, but then, I still found that something was so missing. I needed to still find something. I went into government work. And I excel in whatever portfolio that I was given, but I still found something missing. So until I came to start Passion Drive Coaching and Consultancy, where I make impact, I empower people, I make impact by coaching people one-on-one, -on -one, coaching people in workshops to also discover whatever that they have been given by God. It is only until then that I was able to see exactly what God has created me to do. So when you live life at this at this at this um, time, 
and you live life in your passion, you live life according to your passion, things move on at such a trajectory that you yourself even marvel about. Because you find fulfillment. To an extent that I told people that, God forbid, I wouldn't die now, but should I die now? I think I have set my purpose for being created. Because I see myself uniquely different from anyone else out there. There are many coaches out there, there are many personal coaches, there are many business coaches out there. But what I do, I don't do it necessarily because I need to take money. No, I don't coach people, I don't coach businesses purposely to take money, but I coach people, I talk, I speak on conferences, I speak to groups, I speak to individuals to uplift their lives, pick their, pick, pick their passions and purpose and run with it. Not necessarily because of the money, but because when I do it, sometimes I over even do because I don't get tired doing it. So you watching me out here, there's need for you to look for that passion, that purpose which God has uniquely put in you. It is only until then that you begin living life and not just existing. When you find your passion, when you find your purpose, you begin to live life. You will not just be existing. Coping. Coping. Copying people's aspirations, copying people's way of life, copying people's whatever it is. It is because you have not found what is uniquely your way of life, your passion, your purpose, and that is why you're copying other people's way of doing it. For me, find your passion today. If it has to take you 10 years to find your passion, find it. If you find it, you will find life completely different. If not, you are just laboring. If you don't find your passion today, you are just laboring. You are suffering. You are in slavery. But when you find it innately, inwardly, you find some kind of satisfaction that you have never ever found. Passion. When you find it, I said before that you then turn it into business or turn it into what you do every day that brings you some money to spend. It is then that you merge the two. That becomes your profession or your enterprise, which makes life more meaningful. Thank you for watching this. Next week, I will bring you more videos around your passion and your purpose in which will draw you closer to living a purposeful, passionate and meaningful life. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, do so by clicking the button below. So every week when I share my videos, you will be the first to see it and watch it. Thank you.